So let's talk about the drive over there. Are there mantras <laughs> or things you have going on mentally? To well, I, you know, no matter how how long I've been doing this, I still struggle. You will always find actors in their cars after an audition going, oh, I should have done it this way, or I should have done it that way, even if they did a great job or, or didn't even get the role. So I still struggle with how I approach going to an audition, and it depends on if I know the cast directors beforehand, if I'm comfortable with them, do I want to have banter with just me beforehand and tell a story, or do I want to, if it's a specific character like Crazy Eyes Killer, when I went in to play a gangster rapper, if you look at me, I do not look like anywhere, I'm from Chappaquan, New York, Millwood, New York, <laughs> I do not look like a gangster rapper, but for me to go into that audition, I left my house, I had a, a wife beater on, some you know big old baggy pants this is you know back in 2003 i had uh two uh fangs like <laughs> silver fangs and i had a tattoo on my arm i don't have any tattoos but i put a big wolf and i call myself the wolf man right yeah because that would be a rapper the wolf man and i and i and i didn't I have blue eyes so i put brown contacts in because it totally changes my look and i was scruffy and I, you know, so I left with a with a bandana and a hat to the <laughs> side, and I left my house like that, just to see what it felt like to be in that character. So, you know, when I got in my car, first of all, I was I was afraid of getting pulled over by the cops and be like, no, really, no, it's a character, no, really, I'm Chris, you know, I was at George that now. So, so, but I left and I went into a purposely went into a, a, the wrong office as. The Wolfman, whatever, and I said, "Oh yeah, I'm looking for uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm," and to see the visceral effect that sure. she had, That's great. and she was like, "Um, yeah, it's 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 down there, it's the right." I'm like, yeah, thanks, thanks a lot. You know, you know what I mean? Like, you right. have to go. I was like, "Oh, it's fucking working. You know, it's working." Like, "Oh my god, it's gonna work." And so, in order for me to go into that audition, I had to be that character because Master P, Ghostface Killer. Uh, Mike Epps, like all these guys, Sticky Fingers, they all read for the role. Oh wow! But to but to you have to know the sensibilities as an actor. What makes Curb Your Enthusiasm funny, right. which is the push and pull. So when I left uh, that audition and I went in, he Larry thought I was an actual a rapper because I, he's like, no, Larry, he's, he's an actor. He's, yeah, he's. But uh, it's that. You, you have to own whatever you're going to go into the room with. Not necessarily if you're not a, an actor, but just own who you are as you yeah. enter a room, you know, and what you can contribute and what you bring to the table. 